facility at Alameda Point be linked operationally with Alameda Hospital, and how would you do that? Tracy. That's a great question. The, um, and interestingly, the VA and the, the, the TRICARE system, which covers veterans and covers, um, that covers people who are retired, not retirees, all retirees, but it, it's part of the um, veterans healthcare system, and a lot of the veterans' benefits are not subject to these annual cuts, and they're not subject to the fluctuations. And um, so veterans, the fact that veterans' services are being funded and increased is a good thing. I would like to see the Veterans Hospital built at Alameda Point because there hasn't been another facility nearby for, for many, many years. The closest, the closest full-service hospital is down in Palo Alto, I believe. And so I, I think that would be a good thing for Alameda, and I think it would be a really, really exciting opportunity for Alameda Hospital. The wound care facility right now is a tremendous service that is being provided, and there's a lot of other hospitals in the neighborhood that we won't mention them by name, but including the big one that we're probably all members of that starts with a K, are using Alameda Hospital for the severe and ongoing um, ulcerative wounds that they have. This is something that, a, a service, a unique service that, that many primary hospitals don't provide, and if they have a, a patient, they want to find somewhere where that patient can, can get proven quality services. And, and so Alameda Hospital has been shown to do that. That similarly, with, if the VA happened and there was a VA facility here, that might be a, a source of referrals. The skilled nursing services are being provided at Alameda Healthcare District, another source that may be uh, proved to be a partnership with a, a new VA facility that was built at Alameda Point. And um, finally, Mike knows much more about this than I do, but there's a new orthopedic service that's just kicked off in the past few um, days. And that uh, opportunity, of course, we all know that our bones get a little bit more brittle as we're, I'm sure veterans are even more so. So I think that's an opportunity for partnerships as well. And I look forward to having those discussions if I'm elected. Yes, we've had uh, discussions, at least our CEO was always looking for uh, new opportunities over the last couple of years, have discussed with the VA uh, the possibilities of some sort of link. Uh, undefined partnerships are always good in the initial process, so that we have started uh, with obvious questions, when, how, who would do it, what specific things would be involved in, in this particular facility of the hundreds and hundreds throughout the country. So as long as there's a strong fit, and as Tracy alluded to, there's a couple of possibilities that make some sense. One of the big problems is going to be uh, trying to get past the hurdles that is working with the government on a contractual basis, especially cleaning up uh, what and, and where these uh, facilities might be. It certainly would be a great position for us to be in. Uh, it's, it's crude to say to some extent, but the more sick people we have, the more we can keep our facility open. That's just the way it works. And we can't do much to increase growth with having people. In fact, we, our best job is to get rid of our patients, not to try to grow new ones. But in this case, it looks like with, with the wars winding down and thousands of, of people coming back, and hundreds in, in this area, that psychological services, bone and uh, spine injury services, uh, services like wound care would be a good fit, and it would be helped that we could have some type of contract. Uh, how interdependent the link would be would be, have to be defined by what exactly the institutions have in common. Well, here's the uh, little brand new uh, wound care. It's called the Bay Area Bone and Joint Center, a couple of Harvard uh, uh, grads and also guys from uh, uh, right over here at our hospital in, in town. So, you know, 